Well, I don't imagine Vitalik has a super high opinion of me. So the first, there was a fundamental disagreement about business strategy and execution vision. And I felt a for-profit model with VC money to build the protocol made a lot more sense. And then when the protocol was done, spin it out and have a governing foundation run it uh, would be probably a much better approach. That's one dimension. The other dimension is your interpersonal reasons. We had for six months been living like hippies, you know, in the Switzerland house and he was traveling around the world and communication was very siloed and paranoia and fear started building up. There was a bunch of very brilliant people that got two doses of brains and half a dose of social skills, myself included. Uh, And when you put them into a high stress hippie-like situation, it breeds a lot of conspiracy theories and fear and these types of things. And, And there was really two different paths that Vitalik could choose. He was sitting in the middle. He could pick the business side or he could pick the tech a crypto anarchy, not-for-profit, you know, egalitarian, meritocratic, open source world. And ultimately our side lost. Amir Shatrit left and I left at the same time. You know, in hindsight, could we have found a more amicable way or could I have done things very different? Of course, you know, at the time I was 25, 26 years old. It was the first time I've ever done anything at a scale like that. It took me about a decade to slowly aggregate and learn how to lead a company. You know, my work stands for itself with IOHK. So I have six years of history at IOHK and I have six months of history at Ethereum. What's so disheartening is that Ethereum is the big project and Cardano isn't quite there yet. So Ethereum is what everybody knows me for. And so they only had six months of data where I had limited ability to influence and control things. And I was just one brick in the wall amongst many. And then at IOG, I've been the CEO, the big guy, you know, so I've had the ability at my company to demonstrate what a vision would look like. So in many ways, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It allowed all of us, Gavin, myself, Vitalik, to be our own guys. And I think the cryptocurrency space is much richer as a consequence because all the things we've done are open source. So love us or hate us, the ideas are percolating and being shared and we learn from them, they learn from us. And ultimately the communities all benefit in that respect.